Yo, what is going on guys? Bobby here and today we finally have it for you guys. The rank 50 2000 trophy gene. Now before I get into the video, I just want to thank you guys for all the support you've given me and for anybody new, if you guys are watching this, please go ahead and just drop a sub because this took me 13 straight days of 12 plus hours every single day of grinding this game, looking at a spinning star. It was such an intense grind, but I am so happy that we finally have it done. So if you guys can, it would mean the world if you guys can like this video and subscribe. But thank you guys so much for all the support. And with that being said, let's hop into the video and show you guys what we have for you today. So getting into the first game, before we start off, today's actually a very special occasion. Because even though it is a 2k brawler, it's not just your everyday 2k brawler. Today we have for you the highest North American brawler of all time. I'm pretty sure the highest brawler of all time outside of the continent of Asia and the highest 3v3 brawlers, so non-showdown brawlers of all time. So we're gonna show you guys a lot of gameplay today. Today, this is our game when we were three games away from that 2000 mark. Now the goal for us was to have the highest 3v3 brawlers, which we are currently in competition with a Piper and a Mortis, and to also have the highest NA brawler, North American brawler, which was two, which is 2010 trophies. So we were playing earlier, the maps were really bad for us today, so we decided to play some Siege. Now we haven't done Siege all season because Siege is an incredibly risky game mode that can backfire on you so quickly. But, and the meta is just terrible. It's always Gale and Mr. P and Pam and just stuff that completely just counters us so hard. But we decided that this is the strategy, that this is going to be the correct move for us. And we're just going to try and completely outscale our opponents. So as you guys can see, we're holding down mid pretty well. I'm able to hit that far shot on the spike. We're facing a Gale, a Pam, and a, uh, and a spike. So, so far so good. We're up 11 to 6 right now. And fortunately for us, we're able to cash in three bolts after the fact, which is huge because they already had six bolts and we don't really have a one push comp. We have a control comp. It's not even a good control comp. We're just trying to keep control. We can't really do any one pushes. So it's all about just containing control for the entire time. Just trying to kill people when we get pushes. So you guys can see we got two kills on that push. So it's only a Pam alive right now. And that was kind of our goal. Just to not allow them to win a singular bot for the entire game and just to get that third bot and to get the win off of that. So you guys can see we're doing a pretty good job at holding control. It does get very difficult because literally every single comp we face does have a Gale in it. And every time they die, they literally just fly into the middle of the map as if they're not dead. And they just chill. But that Pam knew it was over. The Spike knows it's over. And that is going to be the end of our first game that gets uh, that gets us all the way over, I believe, to 1995 trophies. I give a little bit of a spin because I'm excited. We took a break because the only person to take a break at not 1,992 has to be Sir Tempo OG because he has to take a break for whatever reason. Even though we're only eight cups away from something we've been grinding for 13 days. So we're excited to be back and playing. But that's going to be the first game. Let's hop into the next game and let's keep things going. So hopping over into the next game. Again, we're facing a very difficult comp for us that does include a Gale. And it's actually... Skywalker who you guys know professional esports player for Cosmos he's a very good player um, so this is definitely gonna be a tough one also going up against D-Bear over here who's a friend and um, we're just gonna be chilling um, I'm gonna try and hold lane over there I'm gonna use my gadget to stay alive we're gonna be able to get two kills to start off and we're gonna be able to get that first bolt or that first bot one to nothing I'm gonna be able to pull sky over there get that really easy kill and things are going pretty well so far um, we're just kind of chilling, trying to hold down that mid. Exact same strategy as before. We're not really intending on going for a one push or anything. We just need to take it slow and steady. If we do have a defense, though, we are actually kind of able to do decently because Spike does have that really high DPS. And obviously, you have um, Gene Pull, which can just pull the bot away. So those two things mixed together does end up going pretty well. So we're at 1995 here. The score is 2-1 to one in bolts. Again, this is a pretty skilled team. They know what they're doing, so it's not going to be easy to hold control for the entirety of the game. So again, things going pretty well. We're able to get a kill on Sky. Alec gets a kill over there on D-Bear. And that Carl is just 100 HP, so he's got to run away. And they're just jumping in. Again, it makes it incredibly difficult for us when they just jump in over and over and over. I'm saving my pull for when someone gets a little bit too close. Sky gets close, so I'm going to use my uh, so I'm gonna use my pull over there. Alec's going to help out. He's going to be able to get that kill. And D-Bear is going to use his super, and he's going to be able to stay alive and get the kill on Alec. So the current score is 3-2 to two right now. So it's looking kind of pretty good for our favor, you know, holding down mid the entirety of the game. They only have three bolts so far, so this is looking pretty good for us. Um, I was going to try and go for a pull on one of them and try and go for a kill like we'd like to do, but unfortunately, we're not able to get close enough. They take out the bot way too quickly, and things are getting pretty close here. So 
Um, the Sandy's gonna heal. I'm gonna be able to pull Sky over there. We're gonna get the kill, but we are gonna get pushed back. There is a Carl, but Alec is able to take out uh, D-Bear over there. I'm gonna go to the Carl. I'm just gonna be able to hit it with that two tap right there. That's gonna give us enough bolts and enough control to get this made and to win this game. That brings us to 1998. Now, obviously, you know, we're streaming right now on Twitch. Everyone is super hyped that we are one game away from getting that 2000 brawler, which we've again been trying to get for 12 plus hours every day for 13 straight days. So we're all super hyped. We're gonna be able to get this win. And now this next game is actually really sad. And I'm gonna explain why once we get into the game. So let's hop into it and let's show you guys what happened. So hopping into this next game, we're gonna be going up against Pam, Gale, and a random Nani. Now I don't know if you guys recognize this Nani, but this Nani is actually Supernova, who is the current record holder, at this time at least, for trophies in North America. Now this is our 2K game. I'm streaming, everyone is hyped after th waiting 30 minutes of matchmaking. And as you guys can see on that left side, Supernova just lets OG kill him. Now this Pam and this Gale, they're sweating, they're trying. Apparently they were trying to snipe us or something, but Supernova, as you guys can see, he just stands there and essentially he's letting us get control and letting us get this win. Um, now, unfortunately, I'm just going to spoil for you guys. Uh, we did end up getting the win solely because, you know, Su Supernova's just basically letting us win the game. It's a 2v3. Um, and this was actually really sad. Um, I got really, really upset um, on stream and I was just... I was almost in tears like I, I literally we grinded so hard for this 2000 game and it's not about one game It's about the entirety of the journey, but you guys know how often I say this. I really don't want there to be throws um, People often, you know, they'll, they'll say they'll say something you do is Ill illegitimate or say You know, it wasn't real if you get throws and I tell you guys almost every single video if you guys play me you know, don't throw. Um, and Supernova, as you guys can tell, he did. And that's something that we don't want, especially on our 2K game with everyone watching, with us so like happy and so proud to be able to reach this moment. Um, and unfortunately, Supernova was just trying to do us a favor. He said he, when he pushed 2000 Brawler, he, you know, would accept throws from anyone. He'd be super happy if people would throw for him. And he thought we would be the same, but he realized after the fact that we were actually really upset about it because we did want this really legitimate game. We did want to finish off this 2K grind with a really good game. And unfortunately, that was our 2K game. It was essentially a free win. Um, we were pretty pissed off. And again, I've said this a hundred times before. I'm going to say it again. If you guys face us, please try. Um, it's, it's cool to say hi. You can give a little spin, give a little smiley face. But don't throw games for us. We don't want that. All three of us have never asked for that. We don't want that. Um, so please guys do not throw against us. That was our 2k game Unfortunately, not the content we wanted But this kind of motivated us so that we, we weren't okay with just having 2,000 at this point because this was a was not a good enough benchmark Now what we had to do is go for the NA record and for the 3v3 records with that being said Let's hop into the next two games. We're gonna show you guys two more games. So let's hop into it Let's show you guys what happens. So here we go into the game after that game Now this game actually made me very happy because we were getting sniped by like 30 teams And this is the one team that I wanted to face very badly because I don't know if you guys remember us playing Gene on heist Now you guys know Gene is literally the 38 at a 38th best brawler on heist and these guys had the audacity to counter comp us when we were playing Gene on Heist and waste two and a half hours of our time. And so I decided, you know, if we can face any team, I really want to face this team. As again, they're trying to counter comp us. So you guys can see I'm spinning on them over here. I'm super happy to be facing this team because I really wanted my revenge. I really wanted to beat them. So you guys can see I'm spinning. Um, I'm BMing basically as hard as possible. Um, and we're going to go in. We're winning this first bot over here. So OG's going to get his super on the safe. I'm going to just be spinning, BMing, putting smiley faces. Alex going to do a good amount of work. And for a first bot with our comp to do 53% is pretty insane. So it's going pretty well at this point. We're able to get the kill over there. I'm BMing, just spinning, doing the normal stuff gonna waste my gadget eventually just as like a bm kind of thing we're just putting those smiley faces but it's currently four to one right now they're still try harding with their counter comp trying to beat us um i do get sniped by gale unfortunately gale is broken and can just beat kill me from anywhere but um with that being said it's going pretty well it's eight to one right now um we're pretty happy and you know i'm just walking up i'm wasting gadget at this point putting up smiley faces we do have this Mr. P Porter coming to us. So again, we only have to do 53% over here. So again, I waste another gadget. We're going in over here. 
Um, but they're actually going to be able to defend it quite well. OG gets his super on safe. They push back the bot. They do a lot of damage. I thought we were going to go all in. So did Alec. You know, there's a lot of confusion. Then OG starts going all in, which I don't know about that move because it was 2-2. And, you know, clearly we lose position now because both of the teammates are dead. So I'm just chilling over here trying to make something happen. I'm able to pull Mr. Pat on Tinder. He's going to kill me, but at least I'm going to be able to take him out and slow down the rate that they're able to get the bolts. Um, but they're, you know, they're doing what they want right now with us. They're doing a really good job. OG's trying to sneak in over there on the top and just get a super on safe. He goes for the attempt. Unfortunately, he's not able to get it. So they're, you know, they have a level nine bot and they're going to be able to push on us. And this is really scary. I go down. I have my super. Alec has a super. OG has a super and they don't have a wall break. So that's pretty good for us. So OG's going to get his super down. I'm going to heal OG a little bit with my 400. OG's going to do a good amount of damage to the bot. I'm going to be able to pull the bot away. And they're going in. They're using their gadgets. They're doing everything possible to try and get this win. But fortunately for us, we are going to stop them with about 25, 24% left to spare. And we're going to be able to get this dub. So this is a really good dub for us. We got the revenge on the people that counter comped our gene and heist. Even though they were counter comping us in Siege, they weren't able to get the win. So we're going to go to the NA record game, the 3v3 record game. And that is going to be our last game. So let's hop into it and let's show you guys what happened. So hopping into our NA record game, we actually end up going against Orange Juice and Lukey Bear. So this is kind of random. This is kind of funny for our last game. I'll put a little smiley face. Um, and at first I got really mad because you guys can see we're playing over here. We have o OJ on lane and Lukey just stops moving. And I say... Please don't tell me that we're getting another throw on our world record game or our NA record game, world record game, whatever it is. I was so disappointed. I was so sad. But it turns out that it was just Luki's Wi Fi. If you guys know Luki, you guys know how bad his Wi Fi is. So he comes back to the game. He's going to start tryharding now. And I, I was so upset because I actually thought he was going to throw. And that was going to be both like the milestone games that there were going to be throws on. I was so upset. But Luki starts trying now. OJ starts popping off. So they got the defense going right now. Obviously, we do get a really big advantage because Luki did go AFK. But he is over there. He's able to kill OG. He's able to kill uh, Alec. And I'm going to back up over here. We only need to do 16 more percent. So we're trying our hardest. I think Luki's able to kill me over there. Oh, I'm able to escape with two health and somehow stay alive. I forgot about that. That was pretty funny. Um, but anyways, OJ's kind of popping off. He's got that level two surge over there. He's playing surge really strategically. Now, OJ's a very smart player. If you guys have ever watched the CR content, I know I've watched the CR content for a very long time, uh, but he knows things. He's very smart and he likes to play very tactically. And I really like his usage of those uh, of those surge plays because it's actually pretty cool the way he's using that gadget to juke, to do a lot of different things. So I'm going to be able to pull o OJ over there. I almost called him OG for a sec. We're going to be able to get that kill on him, but 7% left one more shot from alec and that's going to be it for today's video this is going to be the record 3v3 brawler the record na brawler and it's going to be the end of our 13 day 12 plus hour grind so anyways that's going to be it for the video i hope you guys did enjoy this is our current 2016 gene i don't think we're going to go any higher because i cannot stand matchmaking ever again i don't want to do this ever again but i i, I might i actually might I know it sounds a little bit crazy, but this was a fun, cool experience. And although I didn't leave my room for like two straight weeks, I did enjoy it. So anyways, it's going to be it for today. Again, this did take me an incredibly long time. So if you guys can like the video and subscribe, it would mean the world. But anyways, it's going to be it. I will catch you guys again tomorrow. I will see you guys then. Peace.